What's up everybody? I'm just going to show you a mod today. Uh, it's called the Archaeology mod. Fossils and Archaeology mod. Oh, um, this is kind of it here. It's, that's in Dinosaur Egg. Uh, these are just um, iron bars but I downloaded the texture pack to the like, chain link fences because I think it look a lot cooler and look kind of if you're creating like in a Jurassic Park thing. This is a Cultivate, an Analyzer, an Archaeology Workbench, and that's a feeder. But I'm not going to be kind of getting into the actual, um, what's in the mod. I'm going to be kind of going how to download and install it. So I'm just going to close this down. So you're going to need these two files. Uh, the Fossil Archaeology Mod Installer and the Minecraft Forge thing. I'm not really sure what it's the exact name, but Minecraft Forge. So you're gonna, you're gonna you're gonna want to go in the percent app data percent, and then you get your Roman file, and then go to dot Minecraft, and then your bin, and then the Minecraft folder here. So you want to left click it once, and then right click it, and then open with. I use WinRAR instead of 7 Zip because I think it's better. But you will need either WinRAR or 7 Zip. They're not that hard to find. You just type it in on Google. So you're going to go into this, and then you should get all these files, if there's a file that says meta-inf, delete that, because then it just, your mods don't work if it's there. So then you want to go to your Minecraft Forge, wherever it is, and then, as you can see there's a meta-inf file in this, you don't have to delete that one, that will go in there. So you just hit Control a and drag it in, but I'm not going to do that because I've already got it. So you just close down these two, and that's the Forge installed. So then, what you want to do is click on the Fossil and Archaeology mod install. Yeah, I'm just going to click Run. And then this is it, it's just a small window. It's, I've never clicked any of this. So, what you want to do is install the mod. Back up Minecraft before installing. I click. You have to click No. But I, you can just go into your uh, dot .minecraft again and go to Saves. But you just copy it and paste it onto your desktop so you can keep it in case that you want to go back to your old worlds without the mod installed. So that's how you do that, and then I'm going to click no, uh, just wait for it to install, doesn't take that long, and that's it installed, really, that is it, it's such a handy tool, so that's it done, and then you're going to go into your Minecraft, and log in, before I actually go into this, uh, the download link that will be in the description, you have to click the third one, uh, not the top one, or the second one, well I've never tried the second one but the third one works because uh, uh, the top one gives you like a 404 box, drop box error, which is kind of stupid, so here we go mods, there it is there, and then I'll just go in, Wait for it to load up there. That's all the stuff. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.